What's up guys, my name is Glassfoot. Hmm. H has Umbrella Academy been out for a week yet? It's been out for a week, right? Yeah. Alright, now it's time to make a video on this. Umbrella Academy Season 2 just recently came out. In fact, it came out a week ago as of filming this video. And I have to say, I fucking loved Season 2. It was a lot of fun. It improved a lot of the aspects from Season 1. But the thing is, the plot of Season 2 is also where Season 2 kind of fell short for me. Season 2 takes place in 1963, with the Academy being sp uh, split across Dallas over three years, from 1960 to 1963, with five arriving literally right before a second apocalypse. He gets a little help from Hazel and jumped to about two weeks prior to try and stop it. And on the whole, I actually really did like that part of the season. I thought the plot of Five trying to get the family back together specifically so that he could stop an apocalypse from, you know, destroying the world 50, 60-ish years before it was supposed to go kaboom. I actually really did like that. Now, issues with season two. The heavy focus on relationship drama, especially in the first half of the season. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't have drama in your shows. I don't think that you can have a show without having some sort of drama. But when you force relationship bullshit down my throat, j just to like try and give yourself points with that, no, it gets on my nerves. Allison's relationship subplot I thought was crap. The Vanya's was crap. Okay, I don't actually think they were the worst things ever. I've seen them done worse in other shows. But especially while I was trying to invest myself in the Save the World Again plot that the show presented. Cutting to Allison and Vanya dealing with a relationship crap. I, I didn't enjoy that. A number of intense scenes from, from season one, I say intense in terms of they were gory. I don't know, they weren't gory to me. Gore is like someone getting cut in half and their friggin' intestines coming out. For me, blood is not gory. I, I have no issue with seeing blood in a show. But there are a number of intense scenes in terms of a lot of blood, a lot of damage, a lot of destruction occurred within the show. Season 2 manages to top that in one scene. Specifically a scene where Allison, her husband, and a number of people have started a sit-in. You know, because 1960s civil rights, height of that whole movement. But when the douchebag owner burns her, it becomes this intense scene of police brutality where a policeman, where like two police officers drag her husband into the middle of the street and just start wailing on him with billy clubs. Like, I felt uncomfortable watching that scene. Like, to the point where I almost turned the show off. It fucking hurt to watch that scene. Like, you have no idea how much it hurt. As someone who personally strives for everyone is equal and love everyone as you would love yourselves, seeing people beat the shit out of others for no reason has always distressed me. But the fact that the scene felt like it could have been placed in a fucking modern setting and it wouldn't have been too far off hurt me even more. And like, yeah, there are other like intense scenes with blood and guts in them or blood and gore, like, like a scene where later on where uh, Five goes on a bit of a rampage. But nothing got to me like the brutality scene. That is enough of that brutality scene tangent. Um, as I said, the family has been scattered across Dallas for three years. Klaus has started his ass a cult. Allison has gotten married. Luther is working for a mafia or at least was, as a bodyguard slash fighter. Diego's doing his thing and has managed to get his ass locked up in a sanatorium because of it. And Vanya is living on a farm where she is basically nannying a little autistic boy. He was one of my favorite characters in the season because I liked the realistic depiction of autism. Uh, once again, all the actors do a phenomenal job. 
uh, with my two personal favorites being the guy who plays Klaus, whose name I cannot remember, and Adrian Gallagher playing Fi. I thought they both did a fantastic job with the characters they were portrayed, especially with Klaus I'm constantly having conversations with Ben. It were, they were really funny, especially like when it would cut to what everyone else would see and Ben isn't there. It's like, he looks like he's talking to himself. It's really funny. He managed to pull that off really, really well. Adrian Gallagher managed to pull off the 60 year old man and a 13 year old kid's body really well. It was really funny to me just cause it's like half the time he's like going up, grabbing the other characters like, listen to me, you little shit. I have 30 fucking years on you. I will kill your ass unless you fucking do what I say. And I, I always found it really funny that he's like constantly like, fuck you, listen to me or I'll kill your ass. If you enjoyed the fight scenes from season one with the music, they're back and better than ever. I thought the music was better in this season than it was in season one. Not that the music in season one is bad, I think that the songs they choose go with the scenes that they're in, but in season two, they are just Mwah. So good. Honestly, phenomenally, a number of really good covers. A Swedish cover of Adele's Hello is sung at one point, which I thought was amazing. It's actually a pretty dope cover of Billie Eilish's Bad Guy. I don't have a ton to say because I don't want to get into spoilers about the plot as a whole. There's one character in this season who I hate above all else. And, like, I don't think I've gotten a character who's gotten this visceral response out of me in a long time where I've actively yelled at the screen multiple times, fuck you, Adam. If you've seen the season, you most likely know who the hell I'm talking about. Fuck that guy. He can go straight to hell. Though there are a number of plot twists in this season and that is actually one thing I personally was not a fan of. I think that plot twists can be done well, but when it feels like you're putting them in specifically just so that you can have the, ooh, twist got ya moment, which is what a number of these fucking felt like, I am personally very, very irritated with that. Uh, specifically, there is a twist uh, about one of the character's identities at one point in the show. And then the biggest fuck you twist, in my opinion, was at the very, very final scene of season two, which is a fucking sequel hook for season three, which Netflix hasn't even confirmed yet. I hate sequel hook endings, and I will bash on them every fucking chance I get in any medium, anime, live action, a fucking movie with a sequel hook will piss me off to no end. It's one of the reasons I actually dislike John Wick 3's ending a lot more than the other two. Fucking books that end with sequel hooks are the worst because I don't want to have to fucking reread the book before their second one comes out, you piece of crap. <sighs> sequel hooks, I think, are never done well. I think they're always done just to try and get the, ooh, gotcha, moment to get you that next season. And I don't, they're never done well. And I bet you're thinking, oh, I've seen some there. Look, if you don't know you're getting the thing, give me a satisfying ending to your season that will stay with me. Because if you don't get that third season, Umbrella Academy, I'm gonna be pissed. Cause I wanna know what the hell happened. The way it ends gets on my nerves so much. It's probably the biggest complaint I have overall with Umbrella Academy season two, but I will say, overall, I found the ride highly enjoyable with a lot of fun action and fight scenes set to really good songs, once again, that I found a hell of a lot of fun, great acting all around, a rather intriguing plot when it isn't dragged down by the bullshit relationship crap or the twist that they put in just to try and get the ooh, twist moment. But overall, I would have to say that Umbrella Academy season two rolls a 16. Not the best possible score it could have gotten, but for me, with the love drama that kind of dragged down a couple of episodes and the twists that they put in specifically to try and get you the oh gotcha moment, especially one point where a, ca like a character thinks they figured out information, but they haven't. But the thing is, as an audience, we already knew that information, so what the fuck was the point of giving the character the wrong information to fucking begin with? If you've seen the show, you'll know what scene I am specifically referring to. And it made me so mad that the character did not have the right information, despite the fact that we, as an audience, 
already knew the information. Solid 16, not terrible. I will potentially rewatch this, but this isn't a show I'm gonna go out of my way to watch again. I would probably watch the fight scenes again because the music is really good. In fact, I've multiple times watched season one's music scenes, specifically on YouTube, because I think they're awesome and a hell of a lot of fun. If you enjoyed season one, I would say give season two a shot and buckle up for a pretty entertaining ride. Hey guys, I hope that you enjoyed that video. If you would like to follow me on my socials, links to both my Twitter and Instagram will be in the description box down below. I hope that you guys have a fantastic day and as always, peace out guys.